this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. We're talking about the volume material in Arnold today and the way to handle it is pretty simple but you know how to you need to know how to do it and I think we're currently in my 2018 in future versions uh, this will be a little bit more easy uh, but for now and for basic understanding uh, let's get going and try this we choose from the from the polygon modeling menu set here uh, with the right mouse click up, uh, helix and here we can change things about the helix for example the number of coils we want less coils we want the height maybe higher like this we want the width a little bit wider and the radius thicker so it gets a little bit more fat let's jump to it with the key F and this thing of course is uh, a hollow material when you walk into it now we're in in it we see that there's nothing in it it's just hollow and the surface is infinitely small it's um it's just a shader it's just a geometry a mathematical description of an object with a shell now we want to render this trivial you think yes it is with a sky dome light let's render it just fine we don't need uh, very nice geometry here we just stick to this now um actually i want to hide the lights here in the viewport they're still there uh, now what kind of material does it have let's give it a new material for example a standard Maya Lambert shader it doesn't change anything because it's as gray as the shader before they are identical and now I go to the Lambert shading group this is the shader with its gray color which we can make more white or black or red and this is a shading group which is sort of one step higher in the hierarchy and here we have the surface material it's that material which covers which describes that uh, object but which has uh, nothing inside it's just the shell that's the surface we can delete this right mouse click and break connection so it's gone and the object turns green now and when we render it we see some odd representation in pink which means there's nothing no shader ap applied to it you cannot do much with it but here we have the volume material and here we have the displacement material and I did several tutorials about the displacement and now we're going to talk about the volume material let's click here and we go to Arnold and under shaders you find the volume it's called AI standard volume you find that shader in the hypershade window which you can reach here as well which is a very elegant way to compose shaders but for now we just double click it and it's here now let's render it again and all of a sudden it's black why is that and this is what I'm gonna talk about now the that's sort of it's not a workaround really it's a it's a, it's a tricky thing um, let's select it and go to the polygon helix shape because the shape is what's going to be rendered and down here in the shape section you have Arnold and Arnold further down has something about volume attributes you open it here it's the volume attributes and now don't ask me why but these are the values which are good for a start instead of 0 for the step size 0 0.1 and instead of 0 for the volume padding 
1. Now let's render it again. And now we have a fluffy material. There are two things I wanted to show you here before we close this tutorial. The density is one thing and the other one is the displacement. Let's uh, talk about density. We render the scene and with a lower density, say 0 0.2, we get a more faint look of that coil, of that helix. And um, when we raise it to say 20 it's a very dense structure and it actually is not a shell it doesn't this thing ha does not have a shell it's uh, just volume it's just it's, it's like a cloud for example which brings me to the displacement now and the displacement um, wants something funky here so we click here and we map the displacement with a noise pattern Go to Arnold and type in noise because the Arnold noise, AI noise as it's called, is a really good um, utility. And we double click it and now you see that the structure is starting to work. Now you can imagine that we have a cloudy whatever. We're not seeing the helix anymore so precisely. We can raise the octaves, for example, to 5. So interesting structures appear here, and it looks already quite cloudy. Of course, you can play with color, etc., but that's basically all I wanted to show you for now. The um, important thing to the important message here is apart from deleting the surface material, because it if, if it's there, it won't uh, allow you to look into that uh, object. Uh, creating a volume material with the AI standard volume shader. Uh, apart from that uh, is that uh, in the object shape, and that's uh, relevant for objects like uh, the polygons here or NURBS structures and even for cloth for example. If that would be a cloth structure. You have an Arnold section here and you need to walk all the way down to the volume attributes and set the step size to a value which, a value which is higher than uh, zero and the volume padding for uh, volume uh, displacement as well. Let's set this to 30, a really ridiculous value and you get changes here as well. So have a nice day and keep playing with the cloud structures here. Uh, uh, another tutorial will follow sooner or later about this thing here, Arnold volume, which is a different story. Bye-bye.